So have you ever watched the movie Limitless? In the movie, Bradley Cooper takes this experimental nootropic drug called NZT48. It basically gives him the ability to fully use his brain. So what's the first thing he does with this new heightened ability? Well, the technically correct answer is he helps his neighbor's wife study for her law exam. But the action I want to focus in on is the one that everyone seems to overlook. And that's that he spent about an hour cleaning his place. Now, today I'm going to talk about how the average guy can level himself up to come off as more attractive. Gentlemen, do not underestimate the power of your environment. In the movie, Edward was living like a slob, so guess what? He behaved like a slob. If your place, if your home of refuge is a disaster, if your closet's a disaster, if you surround yourself with people that are disasters, it's safe to say all those things are going to have a negative effect on you. Can you take the time to clean up or make it a habit or maybe hire somebody. I know some of you guys, it's so difficult to clean up your space. You're not going to stay on it. You've got bad habits, but can you hire somebody to come in? I find that, yeah, spending that 50 bucks, that hundred dollars to have somebody come in and clean, maybe even ask a favor from a friend. The point is don't underestimate your environment. Gentlemen, your environment shapes you. Now, the next way an average guy can enhance his attractiveness is to change his state of mind. And gents, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that all of you guys are good looking. There are some of you guys, yeah, you're butt ugly. Whoa, Antonio, what did you just say? You just called me ugly? Here's the thing, is if you took offense to that, which you should, think about why is that voice in your head? Why are you listening to it? If it calls you ugly, scream bull because you wouldn't take that from somebody else that you don't know too well calling you ugly, right? Here's the deal. All of us have unique skill sets. All of us have something we bring to the table, something that is valuable, something that is worthwhile. If you were to measure a fish by its ability to climb a tree, yeah, you know, it's going to be worthless. But no, put that fish in water, all of a sudden it has a skill skill set that that monkey doesn't have. My point here is you may be lagging on the physical attributes. It may, you may think it's your height. You may think it's your face. You may think it's just simply your build, everything you've got going on here. You may say, you know what? Yeah, I am. I'm just not attractive. And let's face it. If we were to line everyone in the world up, yes, half the people would be below average in attractiveness. That's just the way it works. But thankfully, life is not a one-dimensional ranking. And there are things that you are good at. In fact, if you do nothing else in this video, I would love for you to go in the comments and write out three things that you are you know, decent at. Are you a good listener? Maybe you're skilled with computers, technology, videography, sound. You're a top dog in the gym. You're a great runner. You are an excellent ice skater. Seriously, I know a guy that is not blessed in the looks department. He's not super tall, but you put him on some ice skates, he skates amazingly well. And guess what? In the world of ice skating, there aren't a whole lot of male ice skaters that are straight. Let's just say, according to his stories, Disney on Ice isn't always G-rated. My point, gents, is that all of you got a special purpose. All of you have something that makes you unique. Whatever it is, understand that that's what you can build your confidence on and you can meet and engage with other people. All of a sudden, you are someone that brings expertise. You are not ugly. You are attractive because of your passion, because of your abilities, because of the value you bring to the conversation. Now, by the way, those first couple tips, what I love about them is that they are immediate actions. These are things that you can take. No, you don't need to ask anyone permission from. You don't need any money. You can start to take action on those now today. And I encourage you to do that. I'll be going through the comments, choosing quite a few of you guys to send out some of our new challenge coins. These are limited edition challenge coins that encourage you to become the man you know yourself to be. Now, this next set of actions may take a week to implement, but you can set it all up in the next 60 minutes. What I'm talking about is setting up an appointment with a hairstylist, an esthetician, perhaps even a nail technician, and possibly a dentist. Now, let's start with the dentist. In my opinion, this is the most important one. And I assume that you're going to a dentist at least once a year, preferably every six months. Guys, if you don't take care of your teeth as you age, this becomes really unsightly. It seems you can get away with more when you're younger, which is a lot of things. But as you age, guys, your mouth gets drier and all of a sudden you start being more susceptible to gingivitis and gum disease. And that can lead to some big issues. Next up, let's talk about your hair. Hopefully you're going to a hairstylist at least once a month. You should set up these appointments in advance so you never go too long and all of a sudden you don't get, you know, that neck beard going on right there. But let's say you've been going to the same barber, the same stylist forever. Go ahead and cheat on them. Find the best stylist in your area and get a second opinion. Get a new look. Get a new cut that works for your face. Next up, let's talk about estheticians. So this is where it's getting a little bit okay, Antonio. What are you talking about here? You're talking about one of those skin people? Yeah, those skin people. They're relatively affordable and they have so many great services. And what I love about this is a lot of guys have never 
pampered themselves. They've never gone in and actually had somebody work on their skin. It's amazing, especially if you work blue collar, what they will pull out of your skin and how it feels and how it looks afterwards. And let's talk about those nail technicians, especially if you are biting your nails. I had a friend that was doing this and he tried almost everything. But you know what? When he started going to a professional and paying money to have his nails nicely, you know, look nice, guess what? He stopped biting them because he realized that's money. I'm not going to mess this thing up. Sometimes that's a psychological shift you need because if you're biting your nails, if you have bad nails, if you don't take care of your nails, and it actually feels really nice to get a pedicure if you've never done it, and it's relatively affordable, and all of a sudden you're like, wow, this is great. And by the way, you look at who most of the clients are, yeah, I get to meet some ladies. The point being, gentlemen, is that style is like a chain. So, you think about your hair, you think about your skin, you think about the way, and we'll get into dressing here in a few minutes. All of this is connected and it's only as strong as its weakest link. So, in the looks, genetics department, there's not much you can do about that, but you can enhance all the other links in the chain so that, yeah, you know what? I can't do much about this face. I can't do much about my height. I can't do much about my age, but what I can do is work on these other areas and make sure they are at the top that they're as high as they can be. I think you can really just level up your look and guys don't underestimate what a suit can do for a man in terms of his overall appearance. So, let's look at these two guys right here. It's the same guy. One of these guys, yeah, is wearing a suit and looks sharp. The other guy, yeah, I mean, he doesn't look bad, but there's a huge difference here. Now, am I saying you got to wear a suit? No, but I am saying find clothing that actually enhances your look, that doesn't detract from it. And it may be just understanding, you know, monochromatic looks allow the eyes to go up and down. Avoiding horizontal lines because if you are a bigger guy and you've got a larger midsection, why would you wear such a high contrast outfit that draws attention to your midsection? The reality is some clothing like jackets is going to build up the shoulders and slim up the silhouette. But other pieces of clothing, especially overly baggy clothing, oversized clothing, clothing that just, just doesn't fit you well, it can actually draw attention to areas of the body that you don't want attention drawn to. Now, of course, a brand new wardrobe can end up costing you a lot of money. So, walk into a store, guys. Try the clothing on. Look at yourself in the mirror. Take some pictures. Maybe send it around. Get other people's opinions. All of a sudden, you'll start to see, wow, you look amazing. That color works for you. That jacket, amazing. Now, that may just be your mom or your sister giving you those comments, but here's the deal, man. You know, it's like, hey, hey, I'll take them. And all of a sudden, it starts to build up the confidence. In fact, it was my sister who actually, you know, she said, Tony, you got to level up your style. So, she took me out shopping. I was in Austin, Texas, getting my MBA. And this is like 2005. And I remember the pants I put on. I was like, man, these are a little bit close. She's like, that is a good fit. And up to that point, I'd been wearing clothing. I'd been wearing pants that were just way too large, but I'd gotten used to it. I never actually wore a pair of jeans that actually fit me. And I took care of my body and all of a sudden, it's like, wow, I actually, I got used to them and I kept wearing them. And all of a sudden, it changed my whole outlook on how I should dress. Now, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, Antonio, I wish you had all of this information in a step-by-step course. Well, guess what I do? It's called the style system. I'll link to it down in the description. And here's the deal. I understand a lot of you guys, you may be spending this money, you know, to go get your, you know, your nails done, to be able to go see a dentist, to be able to improve the style of your hair. If you spend up to $200, guys, I will give you that as a discount on my style system. Or maybe you want to grab our mission fragrance set, which is all about helping you become a better man. Guys, if you spend money on improving your image. You go see an esthetician, you go see a dentist, you go see someone that's going to help level up your style, improve your hair. Then let me know what the bill was and I will take it off the cost right here, up to $200 on our Mission Fragrance Set or the style system. Again, this is a special deal. I'm not going to have any link or anything. You just need to email me, antonio at realmenrealstyle.com. It'll go to both me and my assistant. We'll look at it. She will make sure that you get that discount code because here's the deal is I want you to take action. Because at the end of the day, gents, I want you to feel better about yourself. And I know if you take action on what we're talking about in this video, just a small portion of this, all of a sudden, you're going to be able to improve your look, improve your confidence, and be able to go out there and maybe find the partner you're looking for. Just simply be able to live the life that you want, whatever it may be. And I hope that I'm a small part of you being able to take action and go on this journey. Now, what about physical health? You better believe that matters. And if you, a lot of you guys are saying, well, hey, this is just my body type. It's more your habits. Yeah, there are certain things you can't do anything about when it comes to your body, but what you put into your body, you can. And I admit, I do not have the best workout routine. I don't always eat incredibly healthy, but I do do about 80%, 90%. I'm not perfect, but I do find that 
you can set up systems. Again, it goes back to environment in your life. Set the bar low. Just get started. Maybe for you, it's just putting on your shoes. If you put on your running shoes, that's that's the goal. You have won it for the day. Now, if you put your running shoes on and you're dressed to go for a run, most likely you go out there for that walk. You go out there and it doesn't have to be cardio. Again, I've shown you guys my gym in my basement. It is very basic. And oftentimes I just take a 25 plate. I hold it over my back and I'll do like 25 to 50 squats. Again, we're not talking anything amazing here, but simply by getting started, that is the win. And you are going to feel like you're making progress and nothing encourages a man like progress. Now, the next set of skills we're going to talk about here, this takes longer than a week to implement. That being said, you, once you start down this path, it's uh, amazing what it can do for your overall confidence and your attractiveness levels. First up, let's talk about the soft skills. That's speaking and engaging with people. It's eye contact. It's whenever you're having a conversation with somebody, actively listening, having empathy for their situation, even if you disagree with what they're saying and what they're talking about. So, one trick that I love to do is even if I disagree with somebody, what I try to do is understand where are they coming from? How is it that this person can have this viewpoint? And for me, what I love about this is I'm genuinely getting some insight, whether or not this person actually knows what they're talking about, or if this person is maybe repeating, you know, a, you know, a dogma point that they've just learned when they were younger and they don't even understand it. Or actually, this per occasionally, I find someone that just blows my mind with their deep insight and why they believe and the experiences in their life that happen to them. And again, this overrides everything. Eye contact, you know, you know, body language, and stuff. that stuff's great. But I think we naturally, when we are interested in the conversation, we give off natural body language and we make the eye contact, which most people don't find very odd because again, they're focused in on themselves and they love sharing their story. Another area that a lot of us could improve, I know me definitely, is emotional intelligence. And this is where you're aware of what's going on. A lot of us are interrupting people all the time. We're narcissistic and, and it's tough to look at yourself and to realize, yeah, you're not as perfect as we like to believe we are. But having that emotional intelligence, being self-aware of your own faults, all of a sudden gives you the power to be able to take ownership of that and to slowly, step by step, start to make changes to become a better person. Next up, let's talk about financial stability. Notice I didn't say being rich. I know a lot of you guys are like, well, Antonio, if you've got a fat wallet, none of this matters. Yeah, for some women, you're exactly right. But do you want to be with that kind of person? Point being is not everyone is money hungry, but everybody wants to be free of the problems that having no money brings. I remember I had a finance guy explain this to me. He said that there are money problems and then there are personal problems. And we're all going to have the emotional, personal problems that come with relationships. But if you have a bit of money, or at least you're financially secure, all of a sudden, you're able to avoid a lot of the money problems. And I don't want this video to become a money-making video, but I will say that, uh, you know, take a hard look. Is there a way not just to save, but could you be earning more? Have you put out your resume? Have you picked up a new skill that can pay the bills, that can really enhance what you're earning? And gents, what video to watch next? Boom, right here. I've got you covered. Oh, yeah.